Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock and beat the new easy area stage for the easy 8-inch trunks. So before we get into doing the events, I'm going to quickly tell you guys how to unlock the stage. Quite simple. If you've done the Goku and Vegeta easy area, easy A, um, it's pretty much the same concept. You just got to complete all of the missions with every single difficulty of the Hope Future story events. So just make sure you get all the difficulties done. Some people in the comment section on the last video that I did for the Goku and Vegeta were questioning why they didn't unlock the EZA. You just have to make sure you double check that every single difficulty is done for all 12 stages. And that's it. You don't have the 100% unit. You just have to complete all the stages. But I do recommend you 100%ing the unit um, in that story event because you are required to bring them. So as the same for the previous EZA area, there is four cards which are all fumble from the story events that you have to use. There are some optional cards as well. You have LSL for free to play and Super Strike Trunks. So bringing those two along will build you a full team, no problems. This one's definitely a lot more restricted in terms of what you can bring. But in this case, it's a lot more easier to do. So just going to jump into both difficulties here. Now the team that I'm going to be using is actually... We're not even going to use the LSL. I've already done this on stream. I actually don't have to grab, gather the medals, but I've already easy ate him. The showcase will be out in a few hours for sure on him. See whether or not he is good, but we're going to be running double future Gohan leaders. He is an all-types leader for 2 key and 30% stat boost. You're versing a hybrid Saiyan, so the Androids will get a guaranteed additional super attack no matter what their rotation is. So perfect for that. And then the Trunks is there because he's needed. And I did not bring anybody else. That's, that's all you need, the four cards that are required. Of course, Z-Hard being the easier stage, um, you know, if this team is able to do the super difficulty, then it should be hands down easy to beat the Z-Hard. Of course, the medals that you get for the EZA trunks are on the stage, and you do not get them through the uh, battle itself. So you will need 30 bronze medals in together, which means that is three runs on the left way. And then you need 40 of the silver medals, which is about three runs on the right way. Now, you can get a random pad, which will give you a full run's worth of the medal. So for this stage specifically, you'll be able to get five bronze medals or 14, I believe it was, uh, silver medals. So uh, that's cool. Not even going to... I'm going to take type disadvantage damage. Our health is a measly 90,000. So... You know, you can see where we have a very low HP, not even over 100,000. we pretty much taken them out here with type disadvantage, to say the least. Um, because of these additional super attacks, these androids are going to carry you uh, pretty much. Now, obviously, you should 100% the androids. I've already done a video on them showing how great they are. So if you don't 100% them, that's entirely up to you. And that's all your fault if you cannot beat this event. It's super easy. Of course, if you have the super trunks... You you know, bring them along the team, that's going to be way easier. So you get 5 medals for the bronze side, uh, and 14 medals on the right side. Now for the super difficulty, you need 30 gold medals and 30 rainbow medals, or platinum medals, whatever you want to call them. So that is 3 runs on the left and 3 runs on the right. And of course, same idea goes for the random pad, that will give you a full run's worth of whatever side it chooses to do. You can get an extra 10 gold medals, or you can get an extra 10 um, rainbow medals. So now the real difficulty comes here, which is running these four only units, well five technically, on the super difficulty. But you'll see, I mean, even great, even the Sabermans can tank pretty well. So uh, you, even because they have type advantage, it just makes it a little bit easier. So don't worry about the Sabermans getting hit. Maybe if they took a super attack, you're pretty much scared of maybe taking a super attack against the 17 and the Sabermen. That's about it. I mean... You can always make it easier for yourself by going along, by easy aing the trunks as you go along, but it's definitely not necessary. Of course, my trunks is easier, so whatever he's doing in this video is not what you're going to do with the trunks that you own. Uh, but you definitely don't need him, for sure. He's, like, rarely used on the team. If anything, I can barely super attack with him. <laughs> anyway, double uh, super attack. Maybe you can get an additional super attack for the triple. No, but we're going to take the super attack here. We can't dodge it. Let's see how much damage we take. 20,000. I mean, type neutral. Says a lot already. Having physical at the end there. Um, you know, I, I will even take the type disadvantage hit again. Because why not, right? Just the flex. And I accidentally grabbed the greens where I didn't need him. But doesn't really matter. Triple digit damage. Future Gohan. 
actually is not that great for this. Like, actually, if he gets a crit, he, nah. 327,000 with type advantage. You're just running him under double 30% leaders, and he doesn't get half his passive anyway. That's the reason why he's not so great. But still, type advantage tanking, definitely really good to have in general anyway. And of course, he's required. Are we going to get the additional super? Let's go. And that should wrap it up, even if we don't get the crit here. And that should be the EZA area done. Hopefully, you guys found this helpful. Of course, uh, make sure you leave a like on this video. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll make a showcase video in a few hours' time, so make sure you do have notifications on. I know a lot of you guys who watch this, who have subscribed, don't put notifications on. Please do. It, w it helps the channel out a lot. And of course, all my social medias are down below, as well as my Twitch channel, which I did farm up the ECA trunks all live and all story events that come along into the future. Anyway, see you in the next video. As always, have a good day. Stay fizzy. Peace out.